Isn't that a pretty fishing reel? All right, folks, this is, I hope I don't mispronounce it, the Hot Tom Dolphin DN200 bait casting reel. I just pulled it up with some 20 pound braided line with this spooling device. And I'm gonna take it off. and show you that it wound on the spool pretty evenly. Uh, there is a little dip in that very far side right there, but uh, it's not all spooled up on one side or the other. So that means the level wind is uh, goes side to side pretty good, nice and even. Now I just did what I didn't want to do, and that's have the line come out of there. Um, so the uh, the drag system on this reel is pretty smooth. I, I didn't test it with line yet, but um, yes, I'm at that age where I need to put these on so I can see what I'm doing. Now, there's a few issues with the construction of this reel that... Uh, Time will tell to see if they withstand certain tests. One of those is the drag, um, from what I could tell, is plastic. And when you're fighting a fish and you're tightening or loosening the drag, the last thing you really need is to have a plastic piece break. You know, typically I've seen uh, metal uh, drag systems, but you know, polymers, plastics, they ge keep getting better and better. Uh, while I'm at it, plastic again here on the spool release button for casting. Now that is going to be used all the time. Every single cast, you're going to press down to cast the line and, uh, you know, it's going to pop back up. That is, it looks like relatively thin plastic. I mean, you could actually hear the plastic sound. We'll just use the nail clippers I use for the line. Okay, here's the the body of the reel. And there is the uh, the thumb button for casting. Um, I mean, the this part definitely is aluminum, and the uh, the hardware is aluminum, but I, I'm pretty sure the the drag, the body part, and this piece here are plastic. But um, you know, I'll, I'll be testing it out to make sure that uh, it can withstand some abuse. Um, this is metal, the the real seat or the shoe where it goes into the reel or the, uh, the rod. So I do have it matched with their very own. Have that upside down. The Hatan Silver uh, Please bear with me. Silver Dragon uh, 270. So medium heavy. It says spin, but this is not a spinning reel. This is a bit casting reel. So I'm going to put it on there see what it looks like. So this looks like it would be too big of a uh, maybe a rod for this reel, but I tell you what, I do enjoy using longer rods for most situations. Um, longer cast, more leverage. Now this is a nine foot, believe it or not, it's half inch shy of nine foot bait casting rod. So it will also double as a nice trolling rod for anything from trout to landlocked salmon, stripers, you name it. Check this out. It comes with two different tips and they're identical. It's the same uh, thing just done in the back of it. And uh, let's see if it gives the length. So length 2.7 meters, two sections, action, medium, heavy. Line is eight to 15 pound, lure weight 15 to 40 grams. Translated all that to uh, our measurement system. I know it's just half inch short of uh, nine feet long. 
the uh, the line that I have on here is 20 pound braid. So uh, it's weird that they use pound, but everything else is metric. So um, anyway, I do love the look of this thing. Uh, it does have the magnetic braking control here. There's, I think, 15 adjustments. And then it has also the uh, spool tensioner right here. So you can dial it in to make it um, cast smoother, cast farther, and hopefully by using these things in conjunction, get less uh, backlash. Um, so let me pull out a little bit of line here. It does click into gear very nicely. And you could hear the audible clicking when you're changing the, uh, the drag on it. But uh, yeah, the line does lay down very nice and even on the spool. Um, mechanically, things work great. Again, the look of it is kind of a metallic blue, almost uh, iridescent look. It's definitely, you know, one of the neater looking uh, reels. But, um, you know, for the price point, I think it's great. It does have a 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. So for every time that you turn the handle around one full turn, the spool will turn around 7.2 times. So depending on what size line you have on here and how much, uh, you could be reeling in uh, uh, several feet of line with just one turn of the handle. So a uh, neat little combo, neat little reel, nice compact, lightweight, and uh, hopefully I'll have some pictures with some big fish caught with this thing pretty soon so I could post those on this review. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Have a great night and go catch some fish. Goodbye.